Well, hello. This is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you about a special time that occurred in the life of Jesus Christ. It was the last time that he rode into Jerusalem, and uh, I wanted to just let the Bible talk to you, and then I'll make a few comments. It says, He went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem, and it came to pass when he drew near to Bethphage and Bethany at the mountain called Olivet, called the Mount of Olives, that he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village opposite you, where as you enter you will find a colt tied on which no one has ever sat. Loose it and bring it here, and if anyone asks you, Why are you loosing it? Thus you shall say to him, Because the Lord has need of it. So those who were sent away went, went away and found it just as they had said to them. But as they were loosing the colt, the owners of it said to them, Why are you loosing the colt? And they said, The Lord has need of him. Then they brought him to Jesus. And they threw their own clothes on the colt, and they set Jesus on him. And as he went, many spread their clothes on the road. Then, as Jesus was now drawing near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works which they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King, who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him and from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered and said to them, I tell you, if these should keep silent, the stones would immediately cry out. Now as he drew near the city, he saw the city and he wept over it, especially saying, If you had known, even you, especially in this your day, the things that make for your peace, but now they're hidden from your eyes. For days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment around you, surround you and close you in on every side and level you and your children within you to the ground and they shall not leave in you one stone upon another because you did not know the time of your visitation. Isn't it interesting that when Jesus was riding into Jerusalem he stopped and he wept over the city. Why in the world would Jesus Christ weep over Jerusalem? It's because the people did not know the way to have true peace. Instead, they were looking to a political solution. Does that sound like today? We're looking for a political solution to the world peace. The truth is the only solution for mankind of every problem, including peace, will be the person of Jesus Christ himself. But it was hidden from their eyes then and it's hidden from the eyes of many people today. You want to know how to have your eyes open so you can know the truth? I'll tell you. The way to have your eyes open so you can know what the truth is is to put your faith in the person of Jesus Christ. The one who had the what we call triumphal entry into Jerusalem entered into Jerusalem to give his life for you. He was arrested falsely accused, tried, convicted, and sentenced to death. The Romans scourged him with the cat of nine tails. He had to carry his own cross as far as he could up the hill to Mount Calvary. The Roman soldiers nailed him to that cross and he died upon the cross and he was buried. So, on Palm Sunday, the Sunday before Easter, please come and join us and I will be speaking about this topic and explaining what was going on and why did Jesus do that. If you come, you'll be glad you did and I will also.